looking for baby turtles too. When the ground gets wet, the turtles start moving. And you guys know we find baby turtles. My building is literally crawling with baby earthworms, big earthworms. I mean, they are all over the place. The door of the aviary to get inside is about ankle deep of water. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. As you guys can see, my hair is a little wet. And here in South Florida, the rains have started. And as you guys know, when it rains here in South Florida, it rains and it rains and it rains. It finally just stopped and we got a little break. So I'm able to start doing some more feedings and all of that fun stuff here at the ranch. All the ponds are fully flooded. And I'm gonna show you guys around a little bit. As you guys know, my ranch does flood a little bit. And I wouldn't say a flood as in a disaster, but the animals definitely don't like it. Thankfully, we have a upgrade here that we did for our barn, for our goats and our cows and all that stuff. And we brought in a slab of concrete inside of there to save our animals. And that really, really helped. Let me flip the camera over and show you what we have right now. Our dirt here is so populated with so much nutrients that all of the earthworms come alive so what we're gonna do is collect hundreds of them and feed them to all of our wood turtles our spotted turtles and everybody that loves worms but before we do that let's go walk around and show you all this water that has came today for the last three days the ground was soaking it up really well but unfortunately now it's um pretty sogged up so now it's getting pretty thick so let me flip the camera and show you what's going on my building is literally crawling with baby earthworms big earthworms i mean they are all over the place because the ground is so wet that they're trying to find drier land and they are just everywhere there are hundreds and hundreds and thousands of earthworms you can see all the lines all in the on the sidewalk all around like they're just everywhere there's they're literally everywhere i've never seen so many earthworms before this is insane. We're gonna get little containers, little deli cups, and collect earthworms and put them in our refrigerators. And we can have earthworms for a long time. We can use this to catch fish. We do all sorts of different things. Put it down in the comments. What should we do with all the earthworms? There are just hundreds of them. I didn't realize there was this many earthworms all around. I mean, they are just lines all in the dirt everywhere. This is so crazy. You can see there's a lot of water. Not fun. The cappies absolutely love it. They love exploring and walking around and checking everything that's going on um a lot of water a lot of water cassowaries are pretty filled up with water as well walk into the aviary the concrete sidewalk starts going down and as you can see the whole entire goat pin area is pretty much flooded they have a little bit of dry spots over there but not too many and then if you can see underneath in their area luckily we have a spot that we have concrete there for them the door of the aviary to get inside is about ankle deep of water and this place is looking absolutely crazy thick we did um add all of our yellowfoot tortoises inside of this aviary so let's go see if we see any but just check out how thick the aviary has looked in the last two days because of just all the rain it is pretty freaking crazy the yellowfoot right there look at this all right let's go check out the aviary pond and see how deep of the water it is thankfully we have a lot of plants and everything here and that helps hold up all of our dirt and all of this cool stuff that's inside of here oh yeah this pond has definitely filled up a lot oh look at this guy look at look, look look he just ate a freaking i don't even know what he just ate i think he ate like a millipede or something these guys are just harvesting going all around living their best life look at the mandarin right there absolutely beautiful lots and lots and lots of water so we are not fully flooded yet the reason why we're not is because the swamp next door is not flooded yet once it overflows over there then my backyard floods up a lot and then it really really sucks we'll stay tuned for that in the next day or so if you guys want to see an update if the ranch floods let me know but it is getting there and it's about to be at mark we got yellowfoot right there all the ducks are just doing their thing Everyone looks absolutely amazing. White-faced tree duck up top. The water is thick. And there's a lot of water coming in. And the rain is here, you guys. This is becoming another season of more rain. All right, so let's go get ourselves some deli cups. And uh, let's go see how many earthworms we could get. Let's do it. 
looking for baby turtles too. When the ground gets wet, the turtles start moving. And you guys know we find baby turtles. There's no way for them to escape out of here. So all we have to do is search for them. And it's pretty awesome to search for them. We're still waiting for a mandarin nest to hatch. And then we have two ring teals on a nest as well. Look at the Tarakos right there. I was able to find myself a real large uh, turtle shipping tub. It has some small little holes in there, if you guys can see. And uh, we're going to fill this whole entire thing up with worms. We're going to start counting and see how many we could get. We'll go where the mother load is at. And then once we get a good amount, we'll throw some dirt in there. And we'll be able to hold, you know, a couple hundred of these worms in here. And feed our spotted turtles, our wood turtles, and all that stuff for the next week or so. So that we don't have to, you know, go out and buy any. And that's a really good saver. So... Let's start collecting some. All right, we're getting them all. We have a lot inside of the container right now, as you guys can see, and we're still grabbing them. They're just everywhere, you guys. This is so crazy. I've never seen so many. It's because I think it's because it hasn't rained for so long. Hey, buddy, what are you looking at? It hasn't rained for so long, so that they're just all drowning right now. But, you know, reuse everything on the earth, on, on the property. Be nice, big guy. Crazy. At like Walmart, you buy these damn earthworms, feed them to go catfish fishing or burn fishing. It's like $8. And look, they're everywhere. But this is literally the best spotted turtle food around. You're gonna see my spotted turtles go absolutely insane. Okay. Can't be scared to get outside and go into the rain and get your own food for your own animals. Hey, there's even little teeny ones right there. Absolutely crazy. Who knows how many are out there in the dirt over there. And I really can't get out of this plastic. That's a good thing. I'm gonna grab some dirt now and throw them inside of there so they can feel comfortable. Oh, and here comes the rain. The sun is finally out and uh, everybody's drying up. Big G and the Cappies are just eating and chilling. Um, the water has already started going down a little bit, but this area will definitely hold water some, as you guys can see. Hopefully, we are done for a week or so with rain, because we don't really need any more rain. All the water here is going down. The water here got up to about, I mean, it got high. It got really high over here. It, all, it drops down here really fast. It fills up and drops down fast. Good thing all the worms have disappeared. We collected a good amount and going back over here, as you can see, the water is still here. Now let's check the aviary one last time and see what it looks like again. This is kind of just like a little update, you guys, on what's going on here in the ranch with this really big rainy thunderstorm day for the last three days. Uh, sunny South Florida. It's not always sunny. I can tell you that much. Ducks are exploring other ponds mudding around oh wow oh, but what is this taraco doing what are you doing looking around here buddy making a nest in here or something i don't see nothing all right look at the water though pond is definitely filled up almost to the first level of the waterfall right there and she is filled look at that absolutely filled up Looking good. The wood turtles and everybody are grazing around the sides, eating all the lettuce that's around the side. And this thing is filled, filled, filled. Got silver wood duck up there. That Taraco is chilling, hanging out, bouncing around. Everything looks good. Everything looks nice. There you go. I love the ducks. They fly around, go back and forth and do their thing. Let's go check this uh, duck nest, actually, because that mandarin is out of her nest. So let's go see if we're close on having babies. We got a big old yellow foot hanging out right here. All right, let's check in here. All right, no babies yet, but there's still eggs in there. Trails are going to have to be cut very, very soon again because it's getting very, very thick. Right after this rain, it just explodes again. Cut my fingers pretty bad on some mesh on accident. And the only thing I could find nearby was some painter's tape. So I put those bad boys on. 
not gonna know how it's gonna feel later to take it off, but we'll see. I can show you a little update inside of here. If you guys have not seen part four of the monster fish tank, go check that out. We did some awesome stuff over there and I definitely think you guys should see that. And if you wanna see more of that, let me know down in the comments. So if you guys have been following along for a long time, you guys will know that our tortoises were pretty much in this section right here. So we moved them all the way over here next to the aquatics because we have a new section that we're putting here. We're gonna be adding a lot more of these quail cages up against this wall here. And we're gonna add another wall going this way and another wall going this way. So there's gonna be a whole operation of quails right here raising up. We'll do a whole nother video on that later. This was another video for quails. But um, other than that, you guys, we have all of our worms right here. We put a bunch of dirt in there for them. They're doing good. We'll be able to feed our spotted turtles whenever we want to. And we have a good amount next rain. I'm sure we'll get a lot more as well. Just, you know, a little bit of gathering here on the ranch and getting some earthworms. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. It was a very wet and muggy day. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, put your post notifications on, and I will see you guys in the next one. But one last thing for you guys. You guys not done so already. Go make sure you guys check out BlakesExoticAnimalRanch.com. If you guys are interested in any turtles or tortoises, we have a ton available there and a bunch of waterfall coming soon. See you guys later, everybody. Peace out.